Good morning and welcome to day 948 in a row of working out. This is your daily triathlon and fitness training vlog. I just worked out and I'm here to talk about it. Today's workout began with a zone two run. Now, as you can see, I'm in the car. I'm on my way to work because I literally didn't have a second after my workout to waste, I had to get ready and get to my job. I wanted to explain to you what a zone two workout is if you're unfamiliar. Zone two training means you're training at a low intensity. Now, whenever you're working out, you're always gonna be in a specific zone. So zone one being the hardest, zone six being one of the hardest. That's like all out, going as fast as you possibly can, anaerobic, emptying the tank kind of stuff. Zone one, basically walking, an activity that you could do forever. Now, zone two training is incredibly helpful in developing your cardiovascular endurance. And obviously that's gonna be helpful for endurance sports like triathlon. Now, whether you're doing a sprint triathlon, an Olympic distance, a half Ironman or a full, you're always gonna to wanna to focus the majority of your workouts in zone two. It's just what percentage of your workouts will be in zone two is the difference. Today, what my workout was, was a 15 minute warm up at about a nine minute pace, 8.30. And then it was six intervals of five minutes at a 7.30 pace, followed by a one minute interval and a 9.10 pace, alternating between those two six times and then a 10 minute cool down at about a 9, 9.30 pace. How do you know that you're in zone two? Give yourself what's called the talk test, meaning you should be able to carry on a conversation like I am right now while you're running. It's a very odd concept to understand sometimes, but the idea is to run slow, to run fast. Generally speaking, from what I understand, you wanna be in your zone two around 80% of your training. 20% of your training is that hard interval stuff lactate threshold, stuff like that. It was really hard for me, just personally speaking here, for a really long time to understand that zone two training is what gets you faster. Not emptying the tank every workout, not going as hard as you can, not pushing the limits every time you go out there, slowing down, building that pyramid, right? You can't have a peak of a pyramid without a nice solid base. And that's the analogy you can think of when you're forming your training plan, whether it's with a coach or you're following a plan that you bought online or whatever. But the majority of your training is done in that zone two area. So that's what today's workout was. I'm on my way to work, like I said, so I'm gonna duck out. We still have another workout today. We're gonna go lift. Any good endurance athlete should be strength training as well. That's the fourth sport I like to say in triathlon. Swim, bike, run, strength. I'll see you on the other side once we get to the gym. Thanks for uh, hopping on for the vlog today. We'll see you in a little bit. Hey, once again, coming at you from the car. I said, you know what? I did the first one from the car, so why not do the second one? I'm obviously just leaving the gym right now. And I talked about this the other day. It was probably last Tuesday. But man, every time I go to the gym at five o'clock, I'm reminded why I never go to the gym at five o'clock. Oh, it's so friggin' packed. When do you like to work out? I typically like to get mine done in the morning. People are more down to business. They're down there to get it done and get out. At five o'clock, you got all the kids, they're hogging all the machines and all the equipment and they're talking and taking pictures and all kinds of stuff. I got, today was a leg day. I started off with a super set of the leg curl machine and the leg extension machine in opposite order though. 15 reps of the uh, leg extension machine, 12 reps of the leg lying leg curl machine, and he did five sets of those. It was then eight sets of squats. Now, I got my first three sets of squats in on a normal squat rack. Unfortunately, there was a class coming in in the area, it's called alpha class, the area that I was squatting. So I had to transition over to the Smith machine, but I always like to turn a negative into a positive. I haven't done the Smith machine in a long time. You have to be really careful when you're doing Smith machine squats because typically when you're doing a squat, the bar comes a little forward. 
where on the Smith machine, it's literally just straight up and down. So you gotta move your feet out just a little bit. So if you do Smith machine squats, just be careful on that. After those, it was not the hack squat machine. I forgot the name of the machine, but it's where it goes over your shoulders. You're kind of facing the front of it. It's right here. I'm doing it right there. Uh, it was four sets of 15 of those, followed by four sets of 12 of dumbbell Romanian deadlifts, and then finished up back to the leg extension machine, four sets of 15. And then my absolute favorite, it's my favorite thing to hate, if you know what I mean, the sauna. 15 minutes of the sauna, I'm religious about it, Monday through Friday, minimum. Minimum five days a week, 15 minutes at 180 degrees. The health benefits of doing the sauna are absolutely incredible, but that's a discussion for another vlog. That's it for today. So thanks again for following. As always, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel, like this video, drop a comment. Any encouragement is always welcome. Or if you want to roast me, go ahead. I like the interaction. I'm putting myself out on the internet and I don't care if you make fun of me, whatever you want to do. Until tomorrow, the streak's alive at four, I'm sorry, 948 days in a row of working out. Remember, my name's Goldie. I'm here in Dallas, Texas, and I will see you tomorrow for another day of the Triathlon Training and Fitness Vlog.